But you uh, spent your time as a, as a literary assistant to, to Mary Cole. Yeah. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that experience. How do you land that job? Um, well, you are on Twitter in 2011 and you're following Mary Cole, who says that she's looking for a remote unpaid intern to help her for 10 to 20 hours a week. And you are an aspiring author um, who's trying to learn more about publishing and who is living with your parents while you are raising your child and you are in a very privileged situation where you do have 10 to 20 hours a week to spare. Um, and so you follow her application process, which was a resume and a cover letter, an email, basically, and you're selected. That was basically it. I did that for like, I think, seven or eight months before she, this was at the end of her agenting career. So when she left agenting, I was done. Gotcha. But it was great. It was great. Um, um, I was, she had me going through and kind of writing statistics about what deals were coming out. Like, so I had publishers marketplace and would write what children's books were announced. Um, what, what house, how much, what genre, that sort of, if it was a two book deal, just keeping Excel spreadsheets for her, um, that sort of thing. And, um, it was really, I mean, I learned a ton, I learned a ton. So a reader reported that like she's requested a manuscript from somebody and then you go through it and give her a report of what you, what you thought of it, what yep. kind of stuff are you providing? Yep, exactly. Yeah. Just a, a basic, almost like an edit letter, sort of like, oh, here, here are my thoughts on it. Like whether I thought it was worth her investing her time or not. I think she just liked to have different opinions um, before she made an offer because she would read them as well. And we would we would discuss. Um, okay, yeah. so important point uh, for, for everybody listening. This is not in place of her reading. No, 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 no. Your question. This is just in addition to? No, this is an addition to, yes, to, to um, so that she can have a sounding board and see if there's some things that are snagging just for her personally, or if it seems to be uh, like a universal thing. There were two or three other remote interns working for her, she hired like a, a few of us. Um, so we would all, she would get her reader reports from all of us and and read through. Well, sure. And that's- Hire, the, hire 20, hire 50. <laughs> hire 50, I know, right? Isn't that funny? Um, but it, it's not an unusual practice for agents to have assistants, uh, hopefully not unpaid interns anymore, publishing, no, no. Um, but assistants who read, like Victoria, my agent, has assistance lets me know what their role is and they yeah they read um stuff that I send her too because she's she's busy she doesn't have time to read and reread and and re reread everything so she passes stuff off to her assistant which is great you know well I, I, I like and respect Mary Cole so I should emphasize yeah. Um, that this is a wonderful practice, uh, I'm assuming for you, because in exchange for those months of your time, you're getting an invaluable education that's going to help you to go on to publish your own novels, right? Yep, exactly. And like I said, uh, you know, that first day in the slush pile, just getting an idea of what it looks like on the other side, um, seeing like, oh yeah, it's really easy to send a query that makes you look bonkers. So <laughs> be careful. <laughs> or, um, or even reading manuscripts that are submitted and being considered for representation they're still unpublished you know they're very polished but there's there's something about reading it's the same reason why having a critique group can be really great so you can read unpublished unfinished um unfinished meaning like it's not line edited and copy edited but manuscripts i mean you just learn so much about what your own work is um, lacking or is doing really well by reading other people's manuscripts at that at that phase. So you're reading that slush pile and it's not intimidating you. It's having the exact opposite effect that, oh, okay, even though there is un undoubtedly this huge quantity of queries coming in, I'm yep. still head and shoulders above the vast majority of these. Yeah. And that sounds kind of snobbish. I, I guess what I mean too is I just was like well, I assume oh, anyone who listens to this show is in the same position we're we're all on a, on a, on a different level here at middle grade ninja 
<laughs> good, good, good. Um, I have no problem admitting I am a snob, but it was just, it, it was very validating and very like, oh, I belong here. Yeah, I belong. This is, I belong here. Yeah. 